Hi, my loves. Welcome back. I am so, so excited about this haul because there is a theme to it. So these are the items that I've picked up over the last, I would say, couple of months, but I've purposely waited for this video to do a collective haul. <music> So if you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel. Thanks again for joining me. If you love all things luxury, whether it's vintage pre-loved designer, make sure you click that red subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell so you're notified every time I upload. So you're probably asking, what is so special about today's video? Everything in today's video is special. And let me unbox the first item and tell you why is everything special? So let's get started with what's in this little box here. So let me just grab this. I'll show you that in a sec. So this came all the way from Japan. Are you getting any clues? So let me show you. I have already unboxed it, so it's not a true unboxing. It's only something little, but something special. It's in this little dust bag here, and it is, ta-da! This is the Murakami coin clay. And you guys know that I recently bought from one of my lovely subscribers, hello lovely, you know who you are, my, pre-loved Murakami um, Duville bag. And seriously, I have been looking to add something multicolor for ages. And so when she offered to sell this for me, I jumped at the opportunity. If you want to see this unboxing, I will link it above. So in that video, I said, I am obsessed now. Like with the multicolor, for those of you that don't know, this was a collaboration between Louis Vuitton and Takashi Murakami. And this collaboration was the longest. I think it lasted 12, 13 years. And anyway, it's discontinued, sadly. I think it got discontinued in 2015. So besides this uh, noir version, it also comes in the white, the blanc, which I love. I'm definitely hunting for something in the blanc. But anyway, in that video, I said I wanted to pick up a small leather good. So when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, it's so perfect. And yes, I actually got it from Farfetch. Probably wondering, when did Farfetch start selling Louis Vuitton? So the thing is that Farfetch actually have a pre-owned luxury section. So this is a pre-owned Louis Vuitton piece. And that is what makes Farfetch so special. As far as I'm aware, they're the only luxury online platform that actually have a dedicated pre-owned site. So they sell, you know, pre-loved items, pre-owned items from Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, Dior, etc., etc. And it comes from boutiques all over the world. So this particular one came from Japan and there is just so much on there. So this is the tag, let me cut it off and then I will show you how I want to wear this piece. So I'm definitely keeping it, it is mine. So let me just show you a close up first. So this is what it looks like, front and back. It's got all the different colors. Um, also on the edges, it's got the metal sort of corners, just a zipper and inside it's all in leather. And it's obviously got this little attachment because it's supposed to be for, you know, uh, your keys or, you, you know, honestly, they're clays. You can use it for anything. You could stash, you know, some bills in there. So the reason why I got it is because it looks so good. Let me just put it on and show you. How cute does that look? Just dangled there. And I need to give a shout out again to Hey June. She's got this bag. I think she's got both of them. And this piece uh, she had put on there. So when I saw this available on Farfetch, I was like, yes, please. How cute is that? Even as a little charm dangling off, or you could dangle it on you know, anything else. Next time I hope to add more to my collection. 
So I just thought that was so cute. The condition is really, really good. Just be wary guys, when you're looking for a Murakami piece, make sure you zoom up to the pictures as close as possible because a lot of um, the pre-loved ones, sometimes, you know, there is sort of marks or chipping on the LV. So a little bit is okay, but this one, seriously, both of these are like in excellent, excellent condition. So, Farfetch, make sure you look at the Farfetch pre-owned site. This is the perfect opportunity to also tell you, yes, I have another coupon code for you guys, and it is FF10MEL, and that will entitle you to 10% off. I will leave all the conditions down below. You do need to be a new customer, but to get around that, just register a new email account. Just a little tip. And yes, it is valid on all full price items, including the full price items in the pre-owned site as well. So make sure you check out the pre-owned section. There is so many pieces I have actually never seen before, but Farfetch has them because I find with Farfetch range, whether it's the pre-owned, whether it's their full price, that they have just the biggest variety. And I honestly was so wrapped to find this piece. So I purchased this for, it was about, I think 600 USD. So Australian was about 800 ish, which is a little bit more than what I've seen on eBay, but I know they have reputable sources. Like this one came from Japan and you guys know how I feel about Japanese resellers. I do trust them, but of course do your due diligence as I always do. And I still will get all my pre-owned items authenticated. So that is the very first item. Next up is something in these dust bags. And yes, it is a pre-loved piece, a pre-owned pair of Hermes shoes. I know some of you may think, oh, I'm not really into buying pre-owned shoes, but honestly, for me, you guys know I'm a huge vintage lover. I'm a big believer in pre-loved because I just love the hunt. It is just so, I don't know, exciting to find pieces. And this was at, uh, I've never seen before and at such a good price. You will find with shoes that they are, you can get some bargain, bargain buys. And I got such a good buy for this. And I'll just show you, they're in really, really good condition. And yes, I did get them from Farfetch. So these didn't come with a box, but it came with the original dust bag. And same, obviously, with my Murakami clay, it came with the dust bag as well, but no box. So this is a pair of kitten heels. And uh, I think the listing was saying that it's from early 2000 but it is just so cute. It's got the canvas leather and this little um, clasp detail. And I just thought it was so cute. It is in such great condition. The previous owner, I reckon she probably own it, only wore it once or twice. Inside is clean. And as you can see, it's just, it just looks so chic. Best of all, I think these shoes were only about three, four hundred dollars. So sometimes for clothing and shoes, you can find such great deals. You just kind of have to hunt around for it. But that's the thing about vintage or pre-love or what I love personally anyway, is sometimes you don't find anything for ages. And then sometimes you just find little gems. And I thought this was a little gem. I thought it was in great condition. So I'm going to cut off this Farfetch tag now because I'm totally keeping this. This was the first one that I got a couple of months ago. So I haven't even worn them or anything as you can tell, but I wanted to save them for this haul. So that is the second item that I got from Farfetch. So yes, besides accessories and shoes, they also sell clothes, they sell bags. Just have a peruse around their site. There are some amazing things. And you know, you've got my discount code as well. That applies to all the full price new and pre-loved by the way. And of course, full disclosure guys, this video is in proud partnership with Farfetch. I've worked with them quite a few times now. Farfetch did give me a voucher of which I did put into my purchase but I did pay for quite all of it myself. I've got one more reveal to show you, but yeah, it's a proud partnership. I love working with them and even better that they've got such a good pre-owned uh, section and it just keeps getting bigger and better. So next up is actually a few goodies that I picked up locally from this amazing 
huge vintage slash pre-loved marketplace. I really am thinking that I need to do a vlog and take you guys with me. I haven't been in so long. And this year, as I said to you when I did my wish list, I definitely want to buy more pre-loved because not only is it better for the environment, but yeah, I just forgot how fun it was just to go hunting for treasures. This place, there's like heaps and heaps of stalls. So let me just show you a couple of the things that I picked up. And oh my gosh, the prices. A really good thing about vintage or thrift shopping or pre-love shopping is you can find amazing things at bar bargain, bargain prices. So the first thing that I got is this um, cosmetic case. Yes, it's a bit beaten up. And you're probably thinking, what are you going to do with it, Mel? I honestly don't know, but I really like this, you know, tapestry fabric. Obviously it has age. You can see it's a lot of sort of, uh, you know, darker here and at the top, it's probably had a little bit too much of a suntan. So it's faded. That's the back inside. The condition isn't great to be honest, but it just opens up like this. So it's a cosmetic case. As you can see, it's got the original mirror and I need to give this one a good clean, but inside it's just in fabric. But I'm thinking that I might try and get like some sort of like felt organizer and just put it there if I want to use it, but get the price. Do you know how much I paid for this? $15. 15 Australian dollars. I thought, you know what? Even if I just carry it around like this or whatever it may be for $15, I don't think you can go that wrong. And you know what? I saw, was it Celine? I think Celine had brought back, I saw something that they had brought some of this tapestry back. Regardless, it's not because I bought it because it was, you know, in fashion. I just, I don't know why I was drawn to it. So that is the first thing that I got. And then, as I said, because there's like, I don't even know how many stores there are there. I think like 50 different stores. I also picked up a couple of things in here. And it's really cool because some of the owners there are just like adding things daily. So there was an owner there and she gave me this little box. And in here, I picked up a couple of pairs of vintage earrings. And these are so cool. So the first one looked like this. No surprises here, pearl, pearl, you know, with the chain detail. I don't know when they're from, but she said, I think they're from maybe mid eighties or something like that. Don't these give you kind of like Chanel vibes? And you guys know I love pearls. So obviously like my Mim earring, which by the way is back in stock. Um, this is a two in one, so you can wear it with the pearl or you can take the pearl off and it would just be a droplet. The best thing about my earrings too is that they are actually made from 100% recycled sterling silver. So that's the base. And then it's coated in a very thick layer of 18 karat gold. So it's actually vermeil. So those of you that have sensitive ears, these will not irritate your ears. So I will leave the link down below and I think there's a coupon. It's not my coupon by the way, but I think there's one on the site. I'll link it below. So that's that. And yes, I'm still donating a portion of all sales to the Fred Hollows Foundation. So know that your purchase will help someone uh, see again. So these ones, let me just take this off and show you. They're just clip-on. You'll find that a lot of the vintage earrings are actually clip-ons. So I may need to replace this pad, but this is what they look like. I mean, how gorgeous. And you want to know the price? I paid $10 for these. Um, yeah, hello. This is, I mean, all this is like still costume jewelry, but to me, that does not look like it's $10. There was just like displays full of all these types of jewelry. You know, some were, you know, $10, some were like $50, but I don't think I saw anything too much over that. So that is what they look like. What do you think, guys? And I also got a second pair. This one is studs, a bit more bold. So this is what they look like. I would do a close up. What I loved about this was in the center, there is just an array of different colors, blue, green, purple, everything. And then it's just got the chain detail around. Again, it's just got a clip. This one didn't come with a padding, so I'll probably need to just buy that. But I mean, this gives me totally 80s vibes. Look at that. What do you guys think? So it's just kind of bold. And this one I think was $20 but I just think they're a bit of fun. I love the color in them. You guys know I love color. And I just, I don't know. I just, there's something so special about vintage or pre-love pieces. And I just love them. You guys know, you know, I collect Chanel, vintage Chanel earrings as well and vintage Hermes earrings. So 
even though these are not branded and designer, I just think they're a fun piece of costume jewelry. You can't go wrong with those type of prices. So I got one more thing from that place, but let me just put my earring back on. Okay. So the final thing, which was just so cute, is this little notebook. And I think this was like a dollar. <laughs> but you know, when I was little and when my kids were little, they love the little golden books. Who remembers all of them? I remember reading them as a child. But what makes this special is because someone's repurposed it. So inside, it's they've got pages of the book, but it's a notepad. Isn't that clever? And I am very old school. I still like writing and jotting things down. And I just love, I love the story of the shy little kitten. And it's just a little, you know, notebook. I thought that was so, so cute. So it's got little knickknacks and things like that. And yeah, I can't wait. You can see my excitement. I can't wait to do a vlog in that store. Hopefully they'll let me, but that's what I'm thinking to do as my first sort of come shopping with me vintage vlog. So next up is a clothing item. And again, as you know, the theme is it is pre-loved. It's my first purchase from The Real Real. And so it came like this. And this one was a big, bit of a punt because with the real real, I think you can still return, but for this item, it said no returns. But anyway, this is, it's very bulky and big. Let me show you. This is a vintage Dior coat. This vintage, super long houndstooth Dior coat. And you, the houndstooth is a pattern that is never going to go out of style. Like it is just so classic, so chic, black and white. It's got this velvet trim collar and it's even got, you know, the velvet trim pockets. And I don't know what era this is from. Like it just says here, Christian Dior coat, Paris and New York. So inside you won't be able to see, but all of it has CD, CD, CD. So this actually goes all the way. It's like a full length coat and it is sort of too big for me. But you know what? Oversized coats are in. I don't have an oversized coat. I don't have an oversized really long coat. We're in winter here. This is going to be so perfect. I actually like it that it's it's got these shoulder pads and it's oversized because as you can see me trying out now, I've just got my Dior belt, you know, and I've really just tightened it up there. And I just think it looks so, I don't know, chic and a Dior coat like this in store, if this was new, would probably cost, you know, anywhere from seven, eight, nine thousand dollars probably. Um, that's for a full wool coat, which I'm pretty sure this is wool or at least, you know, a wool blend. And guess what? I paid for it. So this in USD came up to only like 500 and 70, 80 ish. And then there was 20% off the price. So shipping to Australia was $50 USD. And it also says any duties and taxes is the responsibility of the customer. So in Australia, anything less than a thousand dollars, which this was, I think it came up to about 800 Australian dollars. So this one, I didn't actually have to pay any duties for, but I remember something I bought on eBay, which was less than a thousand. I did have to pay duties for. So I think it really depends, but just factor that in, you know, like 10, 15% for duties for my Aussie followers. But I thought that was a bargain, you know, if it's like eight or 9,000 retail, I got it for about 800 Australian. So this is what I mean that you can find some bargain things. So don't discount pre-loved, you know, items like this. Yes, it does. This one does have a slight musty smell, but I'm going to get it dry cleaned. And I so think it's worth the price. And the final item is the item that I am so excited about. So this is one of the pluses of buying pre-loved. As you can see, not only is it, you know, you can save some money, you can get things that are limited edition, like my Murakami, but in here, oh my goodness. In this LV bag, so it came exactly like this. So I got, dun, dun, dun. Okay, so uh, what's the shape? Cylindrical Beauty is called the Papillion and this is the size 30 and this is discontinued now. 
But what makes this one extra special is look at the monogram on this. So this was a collaboration between Louis Vuitton and Richard Prince. And this bag was released in spring summer of 2018. So it, Richard Prince is like a famous American artist, I believe. And the watercolor sort of print it does also come on the speedy. I love it in the white. The white speedy, I think it's 30, is really rare as well. But there's something about the Papillion I just really like. It's so chic. It's got a little bit of a sporty vibe because it kind of looks like a mini duffel bag. Now, as far as I'm aware, I think previously they used to make it in two sizes. 26 and 30. So the pre-love versions, it does come in the monogram, the plain monogram, the Damia Ben. I'm not sure if it came in Damia Zua, but it used to come with like a little baby version as well. I think there was two or three sizes. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely the 30 and the 26 I have seen pre-loved. But this is the one I wanted. I mean, it's not stuffed at the moment. Sorry, I took all the stuffing out. It's actually in pristine condition honestly there's like no, no marks on this oh no one little I think one little watermark but I can't believe the condition I mean look at this honey patina okay what was I saying oh yes the papillion was originally made in 1966 so and then they discontinued I'm not sure when they discontinued it but I don't know I don't have anything in this shape it is a very unique shape I think it's a very you love it or hate it sort of thing but I love it and it's called papillion because this bag is sort of designed in the form and spirit of a butterfly Hence why the name. And it's so this is what the inside looks like. So it's just one zipper to open it up. And inside it is just one compartment. And seriously, it is made so, so well. And this one is made in France. And I had to really look for the date code, but it is there. It's just really hidden in the seam. So... I am definitely keeping this. I cannot believe the condition of this. This one was a little bit more pricier. As you know, I did get it from Farfetch. So um, I think this one ended up being about 2,000, two and a half thousand Australian dollars. So you definitely can find the plain versions much cheaper, but because this was a limited edition, it was a little bit more pricey. But for the condition, this is like, I would say nine out of 10, it is in such great condition, but I have seen one, but they sell so quickly. I remember seeing one for like maybe a thousand USD. If you ever find it for that price, get it guys, because it's just, it's just really rare and you can't find it. I love the shape of this. I know it's not for everyone, but I think for any LV collectors out there, or if you, you know, really enjoy art like I do, I just really appreciate this print. So this print, it is a darker monogram canvas. And throughout this, as I said, it's watercolor. There's actually 17 different colors used here. I love it. I love a top handle. If I find any, I will link them down below or even the plain versions. I think the plain version with the mini pouch or even just the plain version is so cute. If you want something a bit different, get this shape. It's, I still think it's quite an iconic piece. I think it's quite a shame they discontinued it because I just think there's nothing out there that kind of looks like that. I don't know. So, so that is it guys. That is my entire haul. And as I said, what makes it so special is that everything that I got is pre-owned, pre-loved or vintage. And I just love it. So for those of you that have never considered buying pre-owned or pre-loved, do consider it. You can get some really special items. So make sure you do check out Farfetch pre-love section. There's just an array of items and make sure you use my code, which is FF10MEL and that entitles you to 10% off. But also if you were after, a lot of you guys had said that you were after some YSL things as well. It does apply to the YSL like new items items so you still can get 10% off YSL as well so I will just leave all details down below so let me know in the comments below what was your favorite pre-owned item that I got thank you so much for watching guys have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you soon in my next video bye